I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Graph Econ Google Drawing Template to make near professional quality economics graphs with minimal effort, minimal technological expertise, and a tool that everyone has access to, simply a web browser and a Google account. I have opened a copy of the Graph Econ Template with a grid. This is one of three Graph Econ templates to use, this one being distinguished from the others with a grid background that can use, be used to identify particular points along a line or, or a curve, etc. I'm going to use this tool to make a production possibilities frontier and identify a few points of production possibilities. Uh, in this checkered area, we will have our graph. Outside the checkered area will not be in your final graph, but I have a number of tools that you can copy and paste over into your graph. I'm going to produce a production possibilities frontier, so let's uh, change my axis title, production possibilities. I'm going to resize that so it takes up only one line. Let's call my horizontal axis label, say electronics, category of goods. And let's call my vertical axis label, say all other goods. I'm going to stretch that one out and maybe move it up a little bit. There we go. The production possibilities frontier is a bowed out curve much like this shape right here. I can copy and paste this shape with control D, D for duplicate, and then drag that duplicate over. And let's have it go from say here down to here. I can resize it as, as I want. And now I can use this production possibilities frontier to identify a few points. I can use this point tool right here, which includes a point and some dotted lines moving to the horizontal axis and the vertical axis to identify the coordinates. So I can do control D on that one to duplicate it. And let's say I drag it over here to highlight maybe this point, which looks like it's about 19 and 7. You can drag that down to the origin. There you go. I can drag that up a little bit. You can hold down the alternate key while you drag to get some greater precision. Maybe drag that up just a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. All right, let's identify maybe two or three more points. I'll take another point, Control D for duplicate. And let's say I'm going to identify points maybe 18 and 9. I'm going to hold down the alternate key and drag that up just a little bit to touch the PPF. There we go. Let's grab another point. Control D for duplicate. And let's say 15 and maybe about 12. Well, let's resize that first. 15 and about 12 is right here. All right. And maybe one more. One more point. Control D for duplicate. Um, let's see, maybe at about 11 and 13, 14. All right. Um, I might want to identify a few points here. I could use a, a single character label right here. Control D for duplicate. Drag that over maybe to this first point. Maybe I'll call that point A. I'll do uh, control D for duplicate and identify this point as point B. Control D for duplicate, bring that over here, identify this point as C, another control D for duplicate, and identify this point as point D. And there you have it, relatively quickly, fairly professional. Production Possibilities Frontier with a graph econ template with a grid identifying particular points along the graph. Finally, I can save this as a picture file by going to File, Download, and I'll select PNG. Save it. You can see down here my file saved. I'm going to click on that to open it up. And there you go. You can see I have a Production Possibilities Frontier 
with a grid background, and all those tools along the side did not get included in the final outcome. And you can copy and paste this now, or in import the image file into any document you want. I hope you find this tool useful. Thank you.